Hey everybody, I'm in uh, Birmingham, England, and uh, this looked like just such a beautiful place to stop and preach the gospel first. I'm heading towards the Bull Ring. It's very crowded there, but there's also uh, a comedy event going on here and a library symphony, different things. Do you kids know about Jesus? Yeah. What do you know about Jesus? That he's a man. That he's a man? Do you believe he's the son of God? Yes. Well, that's awesome. Very awesome. Yes, he's the way to heaven. He's the way to God. Yeah, he's a, he's a tree which grows. Oh, he's definitely not a tree which grows. He hung on the tree, though. He died on the cross for the sins of the world. He arose again. He's alive. Jesus is the Son of God. I was just trying to give uh, the beginning of my video here and uh, had a divine appointment with a uh, little Harry Potter looking boy. Praise God. Is it working? Yes. Praise Jesus, everybody! Jesus is the light of the world. Kiss the sun or receive his rod. Birmingham, turn. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn to Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sin. Oh, you can't do enough good works to save you. Good works will not save you. The only way to be saved is through the grace of a loving God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ demonstrated the love of God. Oh, 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross for our sins. Oh, you need a blood atonement. Folks, you need a blood atonement. Nothing can wash away your sins except the blood of Jesus Christ. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash clean. Oh, 20 years ago, I was an alcoholic and a drug addict, and Jesus came. He came. He's an alive God. He came to set me free, merciful God. Not everybody's God is merciful. Not everybody's God is kind. My God is wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Oh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the one that set me free. Just out of curiosity, you know if Jesus died for our sins? Yes, he did. Does that mean we can still be bad? Uh, we won't go to hell. Well, he said, go and sin no more. Once you become a Christian, the seed of God goes within you. Okay. So the bad things come out. Jesus replaces you from being a slave to sin and makes you a slave to righteousness. Okay. See, there's a great curious. exchange. I was curious, you said, as to, because if he died for our sins, then does that mean we can 
Now, Romans 6 talks about that. We don't go on sinning. Okay. He sets you free from sin. And I tell you what, if you have an encounter with Jesus, you won't want to sin anymore. Believe me, I used to get drunk and use drugs and curse my mother. When Jesus changed my heart, he changed the things that I thought about, things that I liked, and uh, replaced my heart with the things of I'm his heart. Oh, the Jehovah's Witness are a cult. They're going to burn in hell. No, 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 yes, it is. No, 1 John 5. 1 John 5. You're a Muslim. You're not going to heaven either. I'm a Muslim. If you're a Muslim, you won't go to heaven. They won't go to heaven. The only people that go to heaven are those forgiven by Jesus. Jesus is the way. You waste so much time spreading lies. 1 John 5 is truth. If you reject the Son of God, Matthew 10 said he will reject you. You need a blood atonement. Repent, Jehovah's Witness. Repent from your wicked lies. Praise the Lord. I get tired of cults. Cults all over this city. Will the real church arise? Come on, Christians. Time to come out of the closet. Hello. You still here? Yes. You like street preachers, don't you? What? You like preachers. You ought to get you a Bible. Does he, you guys go to church? Yeah, yeah. yeah praise Jesus. Huh? Praise Jesus. Yeah. Well, that's super. Praise Jesus. 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 They're drawn to you. Yes, they are. Just like the college kids. I go on a college campus. They hang out with me three hours, but they say they hate me the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. The Bible is the truth. The Word of God is truth. Be careful what friends you choose. You hang out with chickens, you'll be a chicken. You hang out with the wise, you become wise. That's what Proverbs says. You hang out with wise men, you become wiser. Remember that, kids. Hallelujah! Somebody praise Jesus! Hallelujah! Jesus is Lord in Birmingham! Woo! Thou shalt not have any other gods before me, says the Lord! Repent of your idolatry, Birmingham! Repent! Turn to Jesus Christ! Jesus cares for you! Jesus will forgive you! Jesus will set you free. Hallelujah. Those that the Son of God sets free are truly free indeed. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus some praise today. Somebody praise Jesus because he's worthy. Oh, hell, the King of Israel. Woo, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Jesus Lord. Is the King of Israel. Yes, Jesus oh, is the King God. of Israel. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not because the Jews didn't accept Jesus. You see, the Jews. What did it right. say on Jesus' cross? No, no, do you no, know? No. no, do you know what it said on no, Jesus' cross? No. The Jews totally dismissed. I know it doesn't Jesus, matter. But he's Jesus, still their king. No, he's not. Yes, yeah, he is. It's, it's what it says no, in no, the Bible. He's not a king. Is. Jesus, is, the Jesus king. is the King of Kings, sir. No, he's not. And the Lord of Lords. No. The Bible declares one day every knee will bow and confess Jesus as Lord. On the, oh, he is. You'll say it. Your kids will say it too. Your kids will call Jesus Lord one day. So will you. Oh, yeah. Every Muslim will call Jesus Lord one day. The Bible prophesies that. It's better to get converted now instead of going to hell for the wrong way. I have a question. Yes, what is your question, uh, sir? You know Jesus, right? He was born. Great. I know him personally. Uh, <laughs> 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 Woo! Hallelujah! Great. Hang on but just one second. He disappeared. He disappeared. He went to Egypt. And then next thing we hear about it, it's in his early 20s. Now, I was recently at a church, me and my friends, we were playing a bit of tennis, you know, practicing around there. 
because we felt safe there. And a lady came up to me and told us we were disrespecting the church by playing planet. Listen, Catholics. Yeah, but I asked Well, they disrespect God by molesting boys. They disrespect God by getting drunk. They disrespect God by praying to Mary. So I don't care what you did in the Catholic Church. Go do it again. All right, but but she said Jesus. So as a child, Jesus was man and God, right? So would, as a child, children play and helps their mind develop. So would Jesus have also played games as a child? Sure, of course. Yeah, so... so he had fun. Yeah, he had fun. So, I mean, surely Jesus as a child also did had the casual, you know, make a mistake, learn from it, you know. Is that Jesus look out as lost? Oh, oh no. There's a scripture that says Jesus learned obedience by the things he suffered. So, so he make mistakes. Well, but not sins. He might have made mistakes, but not sins. There's a difference. Yeah. Jesus was the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. So we can guarantee the Bible says Jesus was tempted in every way, but yet escaped. That's why he can show us the way. He, he did not ever sin. So even as a child, he never lied to Joseph or Mary. That's pretty amazing. That means you never have to lie to your dad. Never. You can honor him till you're 80 or 90, all the days of your life. I wish I had honored my parents. I was very bad when I was a kid. And uh, when I became a Christian in my 20s, I cried. I told my mom and dad, I'm so sorry, but I was so selfish. And that's what sin is. It's selfishness. There's three sins, lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. I thought there was seven. Well, I'm talking about the three basics. Now, within those three basics are multitudes of sins. But I'm talking about, I'm just keeping it simple. Lust of the flesh, well, that can be drinking, that can be pornography, that can be anything. So that's the lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye, and then the pride of life. Pride of life can be simply, I am my own person, I don't need God, I'm going to have a career, I'm going to have money, I'm going to travel, and on my deathbed, I'll tell God I'm sorry. Uh, so, so if we were to believe in God, yes. word for word, then why, are, why does God value us more than an angel? Because surely angels are constantly with God, constantly doing right, creating. Right, right. Uh, well, angels were not created in his image. Adam was the first man. God created him out of the dirt of the ground and blew his very breath into him. I heard that it's also because angels don't have free will. Is that true? Well, that, yeah, that's sort of. I mean, uh, the, the devil used to be an angel, and he chose, he chose to... Uh, try to be like God. And what is it? Did you know the devil used to be the praise and worship leader of heaven? That's why music is a tool that Satan uses so much to, yeah, to draw people away. How many people have sold their soul to be famous rock musicians that were once singing in the choir? Let's see, Axl Rose, Elvis, Bob Dylan, Katy Perry. It all goes. But at the end of the day, Katy Perry got divorced. She cried in her movie. She's miserable, but yet she still thinks she's awesome. So, In God's eyes, she's just a prodigal daughter. Oh, my family, uh, my parents were both missionaries for 